Girl, why are you playing with me? Girl, who are you playing with? You've been on that new stuff. I've been on the same shit. Girl, why are you playing with me? I don't got the time for that. Might need me a refund. <laughs> I'ma need that time. Hey guys, what is up? I've been putting this video off for a minute, but um, my plans got rearranged. I've been wanting to do like a DIY headboard since I put my bed together, which is another video that should be coming out. But I've been wanting to do a DIY headboard and I had this huge box from my sister's headboard and her like bed frame. And I was gonna use that box and like make a headboard. But that box got accidentally trashed. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do the quickest, like cheapest DIY headboard. Yeah. Okay, so as you can see, this is my bed naturally. There's nothing above it. And all I'm gonna use to make a little DIY headboard is these three foam poster boards. They're like a dollar each at Walmart. And this marble wallpaper, wrapping paper, marble wallpaper. Yeah. So to start, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this sticky on the back. Once that's off, I'm going to put the foam board on top of the contact paper and just line it up to where I'm measuring out about an inch all the way around. So you want to make sure there's an inch on each side so you can fold it over and an inch on the top and that way all four corners are covered. Once you have that lined up, go ahead and mark it off. And you can start cutting. Here I'm just making sure I left enough room to fold it over on the sides. Since it would only cover half the poster board, I do need to use two pieces to cover one full board, so I am measuring out the second piece to cut now. I don't know why I layered the two pieces of contact paper before putting the foam board on top. Um, it really wasn't necessary. I'm using the same process. Um, I just moved it because I realized it wasn't necessary and now I'm just trying to line it up to see how much of the second contact paper I'll need. So here's me lining it up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and mark it and cut it off. Once that was done, I pulled the second board in so I can measure that off. So again, the same process. I'm just making sure I leave about an inch all the way around, marking it off, and then cutting it. So once the measuring and cutting is done, here comes the hard part, laying the contact paper. So I found it's easiest if you take that one inch that you left and fold it. Um, if you got the right contact paper, it should have a grid on it and you'll just fold that first grid part down, which is about an inch. Once that's folded, you're gonna go ahead and peel just that inch back. You don't wanna peel the whole thing because trust me, I've made that mistake before and it just makes it harder. Once it's peeled, you're gonna lay the poster board face down and then adjust it to where it is right at the tip and you can fold that inch over. Once that's stuck down and laid, you're gonna flip over your poster board and you're gonna wanna start pulling back the sticky paper. Um, what I do is I'll pull it back about another one inch so that way I can get something hard like a book and then I'll just flatten out that edge first. So I wanna get that down to make sure there's no bumps or bubbles. And when I feel that that's secure, just start slowly pulling back on that paper and laying it. You want something to rub against it to again, press out the air bubbles and make sure that it's laying flat. So when that's laid, 
I go ahead and cut off the little corner piece so that it doesn't overlap when I fold down the top and the sides. And this is what the first layer should look like. We got all the edges covered so that way when it's hung up, it doesn't look like poster board. So starting on the second layer, I am lining it up because the middle part will overlap. So I'm just trying to see how far I want it to overlap. And then I'm gonna cut off the excess. And just follow the same process you did with the top only folding an inch first, peeling that back, laying the board properly, flipping and removing. Here I'm showing a close up of how I push the board against the edge. I'm also showing a close up of how I peel off the film in the back. Again, I only want to do the first inch just to make sure that it's laid and then slowly peel back and push with a book. And voila, there is a whole panel covered with contact paper. So once your three panels are done, you're gonna wanna go ahead and hang them up. I am using push pins. That's right, regular push pin, thumbtacks, whatever you call them. I'm using those things It's sticking right through the foam board and into the wall. As you can see, I had a little bit of trouble with the second one just because the push pin isn't really long. So when it goes through the board, there's not much more needle to go through the wall, but I did make it work. So I ended up picking up a two pack of mirror holders and I put one on the corner of each poster board to keep it secure. 